I message on iOS 9 didn't offer users any compelling reasons to make the switch from popular apps such as WhatsApp. However, in iOS 10, Apple has made some long overdue changes to their messaging client. I'm not even talking about visual upgrades, I'm talking major feature additions that will make you want to use iMessage, provided your friends use iPhones as well. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from Bbomb.com and in this video I'll be telling you about all of the new features that iMessage has in iOS 10. Features such as tab back, emoji suggestions and GIF search are just the tip of the iceberg and by the end of this video you'll get to know just how much Apple has improved their messaging app. First off, you can now set up red receipts on a per contact basis. This means that you can enable or disable red receipts for each of your contacts individually. To do this, you simply need to open the conversation where you want to enable or disable red receipts. Tap on the details icon, it's on the top right. Here you can enable or disable red receipts for that conversation. Do you like GIFs? Of course you do. GIFs are fun and they can be an awesome way to have a conversation. If you don't believe me, try it. Anyway, iMessage now has a GIF finder built right in. And to use it, you can simply open the conversation where you want to send the GIF, tap on the arrow on the left side of the text box, then tap on the App Store icon. Here tap on the four dots on the bottom left and select Images. You can search for GIFs here and send them directly. Apple now allows users to directly share songs from Apple Music with other users. This does not mean that you're sending a copy of a song to another person, that would be copyright infringement. This simply sends an iTunes link of the song to the other person, who can then either buy the song or if they are an Apple Music member, listen to it directly. To share music, just do the following. Open the conversation where you want to share music, tap on the arrow on the left side of the text box. Here, tap on the App Store icon, tap on the four dots on the bottom left and select Music. Choose the song that you want to share and tap on the Send Arrow. That's it, the receiver can now tap on the song to listen to it on Apple Music or buy it on iTunes. Who doesn't love stickers, right? Well, iOS 10 brings a number of sticker packs for iMessage. You can send these stickers as regular messages or stick them on older iMessages as well. You'll have to download sticker packs though. To download and use stickers, simply open the conversation where you want to send the sticker, tap on the arrow on the left side of the text box, then tap on the App Store icon. Here tap on the four dots on the bottom left of the screen and then on Store. You can search for the sticker packs in the iMessage App Store and download the ones you like. Once you have done that, simply head back to the conversation, tap on the arrow and then on the App Store icon. Then tap on the four dots on the bottom left of the screen and select the sticker pack you downloaded. You can simply tap on a sticker and send it in the conversation. If you want to stick it on a previous message, just tap and hold on the sticker to peel it off. Then drag and drop it onto the message bubble where you want to attach it. While doing this, you can even resize and rotate the sticker. iMessage in iOS 10 also lets you play games with other members in a conversation. There are already a lot of fun games available in the iMessage App Store. You can simply download the games from the App Store and play them in any conversation. To play games, just do the following. Open the conversation where you want to play the game. Download the games you want to play from the iMessage App Store. The process is the same as downloading stickers. Once done, head back to the conversation and tap on the App Store icon. Tap on the game you downloaded, tic-tac-toe in my case, and start playing. Another cool new feature that Apple has added to iMessage is Tab Back. This is essentially similar to Quick Replies, only it's for reactions instead of responses. To use Tab Back, you can simply double tap or tap and hold on the message you want to send a Tab Back for. You will see a menu with 6 reactions pop up. Simply tap on any one of these reactions and it will be added to the message. This can prove handy for messages which can be quickly responded to with simple likes, dislikes, etc. Digital touch messages are a way of sending taps, heartbeats, hand-drawn messages, etc. 
To use these in your conversations, simply open the conversation you want to send a digital touch message in, tap on the arrow on the left of the text box and then on the digital touch messages icon. In the black canvas that opens, you can draw with your finger. You can even tap on the canvas with two fingers to send a kiss, tap and hold two fingers to send a heartbeat etc. If you want to change the color of a drawing, simply tap on the color circle on the left of the canvas to display a number of preset colors. You can even use custom colors. Just tap and hold on any one of the preset color circles and you will see a color picker. You can choose the color you want and tap on done to use it in your digital touch message. In iOS 10, iMessage now also supports handwritten messages. This means that you can now send messages with that personal touch or as it is in my case, messages that are barely legible. Anyway, to send handwritten messages, simply open the conversation you want to send a handwritten message in and rotate your phone to landscape mode. The text box will become a handwriting pad and you can use a finger to write a message. If you see a landscape keyboard instead, you can tap on the key that looks like a squiggly line. Now you can use your finger to write out your message. If you want to send a longer message, you can simply swipe left on the canvas using two fingers to get some more space to write. iOS 10 has also brought along a number of message effects that you can use to make the conversation more expressive. There are two categories of effects that you can use. Bubble effects are the ones that affect the message bubble and screen effects are the ones that affect the entire screen. To use these, just open the conversation where you want to use the message effects in, type your message and then instead of tapping on the send arrow, tap and hold on it. On iPhone 6s and later, you can even 3D touch on it. You will now see a number of effects that you can use with the message. Let's try out the loud effect. <laughs> okay, interesting. How about slam? That looks better. I'm gonna send that. iMessage has some screen effects as well. You can send a message with balloons, confetti, fireworks, lasers or a shooting star. These are mostly things you might not use a lot, but they sure are fun. Last but not least, you now get emoji suggestions in your messages as well. This means that you don't have to hunt for emojis all the time. iMessage automatically detects words that can be replaced with emojis and suggests them to you. So you can simply type out a message, switch your keyboard to the emoji keyboard and you will see words that can be replaced turn orange. You can tap on these orange words to replace them with the emojis. If there is more than one emoji that might fit in with the word, you will be given a choice to pick the one you find best. Cool, right? Well, those were all of the new features that iOS 10 brought to iMessages. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more cool tips, tricks and how-tos. That was all from my side and I'll see you in the next one.